Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your June 2022 mid-month general readings. So we are looking at the last two weeks of June, and this reading is for the Earth sign of Virgo. Welcome everyone. As always, I hope you're doing well. Thanks for taking the time to be here, watching these videos. Uh, for hitting that like button, sharing, subscribing, those of you who reach out for personal readings, all your support and feedback. Thank you so much. Okay, Virgo, this reading is for you for the last half of June 2022. If your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign is in Virgo, it's relevant if you're cross-watching for a Virgo. Um, of course, as we always say, it's a good idea to watch all of your signs if you know them, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, for the additional insight and perspective they can provide, because it's a general reading, so it's going to resonate a little differently for everyone. Watching those can kind of help broaden the overview of what's going on in your life. And if you find that something does uh, resonate with you, um, and you'd like to reach out for a personal reading, perhaps take a deeper look at something for yourself or as a gift for someone else, personal readings do make great gifts, feel free to email me directly at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. You can also see that contact info um, attached to the description link below. If you click on that, I'd be delighted to hear from you. Uh, and I can usually respond the same day or within the first 24 hours with more information. I do offer quite a wide variety of readings. And I'm pretty timely about scheduling, so... If you're interested, email me. Okay, Virgo, let's see what the last half of June looks like for you. I'm using the Tarot of Dreams and clarifying with the Gilded Tarot. All right, Virgo, we begin with the King of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, showing up as a male, but it's a general reading, so it could be a, an assertive female. King of Fire, aggressive, assertive, decisive, a go-getter has learned how to master their passions. King of Wands is with the Two of Swords, stuck at a crossroads, but there's something perhaps they're reluctant or resistant to look at, and so they're not making a decision just yet. There's a sense of being stuck or maybe not wanting to look at something. That could be this King of Wands feeling that way about you or you feeling this way about the King of Wands. Next, we have the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Water. Loving, supportive, nurturing, always knows the right thing to say. Great source of support, feedback, love, encouragement. Has also learned to master her uh, emotional landscape. With the Six of Swords, she's bringing the energy of healing leaving choppy waters behind you. So any kind of turbulence or pain or, or illness uh, because it's a card of healing. Now, it's transitional. So you're not to the other side and on solid ground yet, but you're definitely moving in the right direction. You've left the worst behind you. And this is the energy the Queen of Cups is bringing. A couple other players here besides you. Next, we have strength. This reminds me of your, your other sister signs, Taurus and Capricorns. Strength is facing your fears, your doubts, your insecurities. Um, the aspects of ourselves we don't like to look at or accepting responsibility for the part we've had to play in uh, maybe unpleasant situations. It takes strength, courage, wisdom, and humility to do that. It's also what we gain more of by going through this process. And it's through this process that we're able to grow and evolve and mature um, and become more in control of ourselves and our fears and our insecurities and character flaws, right? Can't do any of that if you don't look at it honestly and openly. The seven of coins, taking stock, taking inventory, looking at everything you have invested and asking yourself, do I make choices? Do I take what I can and leave? Do I keep what I'm doing? Can I grow this any further? It's, this, is having, this is really having the strength to look at something head on, realistically, um, both the part that you've had to play in it and that the people around you um, in an honest and open way. From the bottom of the deck, the overall energy is you, King of Coins, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, solid, stable, reliable, honest, truthful, stubborn, and determined. Let's clarify that King of Wands. What energy, other than this stuck energy, clarify the King of Wands.
the two of pentacles he's already clarified by the two of swords so the king of wands it's either the king of wands that needs to make a decision he's stuck at a crossroads or you're the one that needs to make a decision with around this king of wands and you're kind of stuck at a crossroads not knowing exactly what the right thing is to do there is an implication here that um whether it's you towards the king of wands or vice versa um, there's an implication here with the two of swords that there are some things that you don't want to look at or they don't want to look at uh, the moon a lack of clarity uh, deep-seated fear is rising to the surface things aren't entire the way isn't entirely clear yet king of pentacles there you are again same as the king of coins they're trying to make a decision about you a difficult one or vice versa or something that involves you or is relevant to you somehow clarify the two of swords reluctance resistance to see something or to look at something or to deal with something because once we take the blindfold off and we look at something which we're being called to do here with strength and the sound of coins then you can't deny it anymore and you have to make some kind of choice or take action right or make a decision not to but that's still a decision clarify goodness the devil just slid right out of the deck so some kind of unhealthy cycle don't want to look at something addiction obsession i mean the devil and this is a general reading the devil can mean so many different things it's a level of obsession that has grown to be unhealthy whether it's drugs alcohol gambling working shopping um anything there's too much it's unhealthy the eight of pentacles work nose to the grindstone an unhealthy work environment situation cycle this doesn't necessarily mean a traditional it, it could be work projects business school anything that you're putting a lot of effort into overworking or some kind of toxic negative obsessive energy in the environment of whatever you're putting the most effort into here we have the two of swords again and the tower Either the tower already happened and decisions need to be made about, you know, the fallout, like what do we do now? Or you're trying to figure out a way to avoid it going to the tower card energy. But then, it feels like it takes a, a quite a positive turn here because the Queen of Cups is bringing this healing energy. So let's clarify the Queen of Cups. The High Priestess. The High Priestess and the Queen of Cups, in my opinion, are probably the two most spiritual uh, cards in the tarot, along with the Hermit. Right? It's about trusting your intuition, instinctively, intuitively knowing something. Here we have strength again, facing your fears, your doubts, your insecurities, and the star. Beautiful. Renewed read hope. Renewed and restored hope faith and optimism it's kind of like you know it's interesting because in the tarot the star comes after the tower after whatever this tower represents has happened you know maybe after a bad storm and you think everything's destroyed but then the sun comes out again and you know it, it, and you start rebuilding it's like spring after winter and light after darkness right so the star comes in to light the way and bring hope and that's what this queen of of uh, intuitively uh, is doing this queen of cups clarify six of swords healing it's quite a lovely reading and again it's quite similar to your two sister signs taurus and capricorn which I, I regularly find, not always, but regularly, um, each of the three elemental signs in each element often have the same theme, at least. Six of Swords, healing. <laughs> the Hermit, yeah. Spiritual, learning, growth, taking everything that's happened and allowing that to enlighten you and be wise. I mean, the Six of Swords is about learning from your mistakes moving forward into a healing process and taking that valuable knowledge and lessons with you beautiful it's it's kind of like a redemptive path either for you or, or somebody close to you because um, there's a few different different characters here besides you this is it looks like somebody did something and they're like oh my god i can't believe i did that um but it's it turns out better than you hoped for or better than you could have anticipated and you're really taking the value of those lessons forward with you and in a pretty open and honest way clarify strength and the seven of coins 
because it all starts with taking that blindfold off and going, yep, this is the truth, this is the reality. Yeah, the Ten of Swords, the strength to surrender to a painful ending. It's at an end. It's done. There's that King of Wands again. And judgment, yeah. That crossroads moment where judgment is passed and it, it has a potentially life-altering uh, effect. But positive. Again, for some of you, this feels like you or somebody else going through a path of redemption. Fortunately, divine timing and orchestration and somebody's love and caring, it feels like it went much better than maybe you thought it was going to go or that it could have gone. There may still be some things to walk through. Healing is a process, not one singular event. There may be some consequences still, but the path through that is has been like pretty much given here almost, almost as a gift. That's what I feel like. Okay, any final guidance, message, advice? Boy, this reading went kind of quick. Talk about a gift. Gift giving, gift receiving, the balance of giving. The Empress, mother, maternal figures. There may be a mother here who was giving the gift or in a positive position or somebody who's manifesting like uh, the Empress. Definitely somebody who's driven by caring but also has quite a bit of seniority, status, decision-making ability, abundance as well. The Seven of Wands, don't give up. Guarding, protecting, standing by that which you have invested in, don't give up and the sun light love warmth laughter the pressures being uplifted and relieved and illumination so don't give up this situation will work out much better than uh, you think it will well for some of you this may be in the process of happening or has just happened so don't give up relief light and that uplifting energy and hope is on your doorstep Okay, Virgo, those are your messages for the last two weeks of June. So lovely reading. I mean, it, you know, like with Taurus and Capricorn, there are some challenges, but um, there are challenges on a path out of it. So in that sense, I hope it's been helpful. Again, if it resonates enough that you'd like to take a deeper look at something, reach out for a personal reading for yourself or as a gift for someone else, feel free to email me directly, Maggie, the number one McGuire at gmail.com. You can also get that contact info by clicking the description link. I will see you all in a couple of weeks for the July general readings. Stay safe and well until then. Hope to see you back here again soon. Bye-bye.